Oh, we have Chef Matt Holmes. He is from The Deck, which is down in Newport, formerly known as the West Deck. Same location, new name. And uh, these are Matt's muscles. Now, not these muscles. <laughs> those muscles right there. And what, is, what are Matt's muscles? Uh, sautéed Spanish chorizo, garlic, pesto, okay. beer. Beer. And okay. a little bit of cream. Now, when you say Matt's Muscles, uh, is this something that you, a uh, concoction you came up with, or is this that's been on the menu for a while? I know it's your first season with them. It's kind of my trademark. It's my favorite way of serving mussels, so I just chose that name. What's the, what, what are other ways of serving mussels? Because, I mean, I, I always just eat them. I never really know how they're prepared, but is this a, is this a common way? Um, it's kind of a combination of a bunch of different ways. You can, any culture, any different, mussels are great because whatever broth you give them, whatever flavors you like, you can put into it and get the same flavor back out. Okay, now for people that haven't, uh, mussels have always been the one thing that I've sort of stayed away from. I love little necks and, and clams and all sorts, mm -hmm. but what, what are mussels, uh, why are they different? How do they taste as far as different from, say, you know, your little neck? Um, they're not that different. They're pretty comparable in flavor. There's minor differences depending on where they're grown. Um, the main difference is the, the broth you get out when you cook a mussel correctly. Okay. It's, uh, you get grilled baguette or, or fries. The, the, the best part of the mussels for me is the broth at the bottom of the, at the, bottom of the bowl. All right. Well, we're going to try Matt's mussels this morning here on the Road Show. Uh, Matt is uh, the chef down at the deck in Newport. Great spot in the summer. Great spot year-round. And uh, not uh, so great, though, to be eating, eating outside this. All right. Well, I am so excited, Courtney, that we have a newbie in our kitchen today, Chef Matt Holmes from At The Deck Restaurant, and we're making your Matt's Muscles. But before we get to the recipe, it's always great when our Roadshow viewers, they're kind of used to some of our regular chefs and restaurants, but it's so nice to have a new one here. So tell us a little bit about your place and what's so great about it. Uh, we're a part of Waits Wharf in Newport, yeah? kind of right off of Lower Thames. Mm -hmm. uh, the, we're the only family-owned wharf in Newport. Okay. Um, we have uh, an inside menu Look at that. with an open kitchen. Um, that's the outside bar right there. Wow. We have an open kitchen outside, mm -hmm. open seating, yeah. all overlooking the wharf. Inside is more upscale mm -hmm. with a great upscale uh, feature behind the bar so you can see me cooking whatever, whatever you order. Oh, that's cool. That's a nice yeah. effect. People yeah. can watch you. It's a lot of fun. Um, yeah. And we have Dockside next door with live entertainment at night. We have wow. live entertainment at our place out in the deck from uh, Sunday through Wednesday. Specials from yeah. Tell me about some of these specials, Matt. What do you have? Uh, Monday through Thursday, we do a fourteen ninety five special. Mm -hmm. Monday is lobster rolls, yeah. and it's all combined with a beer or, or nice. something else. So nice. a lot of fun to sit out in the deck and Good. just have a you know reasonably priced meal. Great. Well, a great spot certainly, and um, we're looking forward. This smells wonderful. The Matt's Muscles dish we're going to be putting together. In just a minute, just to remind you that you can find the recipe ingredients online, foxprovidence.com. Now we'll send things back over to Patrick. Oh, I am so excited to have Chef Matt Holmes from At The Deck making this unbelievable mussels dish. Now, Matt, you were saying that you just like to cook mussels this way, hence your name attached to it. Correct. I, I've had similar at, at other places, and i got to tell you, I mean, the, 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 the flavor combination of this dish is just incredible. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So I'm excited to get it started. What is the first step here? Hot pan. Okay. Just a little bit of uh, regular, not too high quality cooking oil. Not too high quality? Why is that? Uh, <laughs> high quality oil burns really quick. Oh, okay. And, and you get a bad flavor if you end up burning the oil. All right, so you can use the cheap stuff if you have it at home. Don't tip. What's that? Uh, these are shallots. Shallots? Okay. Type, yeah. of, type of onion. Uh, chef's favorite is always shallots. It has a very distinct flavor. Mm, it does. Uh, good stuff. Okay. okay. This is a uh, Palacio Grand Spanish chorizo. Notice how the bowl is half full because <laughs> Danielle and I have been eating them. <clears throat> so yummy. So we're just going to saute that down. Basically what we're doing is just treating it, the sausage like bacon. Want to render out some of the flavor. Sure. Okay. The sausage itself is just jam-packed with flavor. Oh my flavors. God, whatever. So I could eat that all day. Just That's what's going to make your broth like really Exactly. Give it a little bit great. of a spicy kick. Okay. Um, so we want to pull out as much flavor as you can. Mm-hmm. And that'll just take a second. I could just eat that, you know? It, it's just, just definitely, that. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> what do we got here? A little garlic? A little chopped garlic. Uh-huh. Oh, a lot Maybe of chopped a lot of chopped garlic. Yeah. yeah, the whole thing. Don't be shy. This is very, very strong of flavor, but not strong enough where you're going to have to so leave with this, bad breath. Is this one of those uh, dishes where people just, you know, big plate of mussels, just sitting there with a beer outside on a warm night? Is that what you I mean? I get a picture. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. All right, so the mussels go in, and my the question, is, the question is, is, how do you know when they're cooked? When how they are all fully open. All open. When mm -hmm. they go, hello? Yeah. Okay. I don't see any yet. How long does it take? A few minutes? Maybe two or three minutes. Yeah. At this point, we'll quickly go ahead and add our beer. Okay. And Again, what do you recommend? 
for the beer. Don't an IPA or anything. Uh, don't go anything too dark. Okay. Too dark will change the flavor. All right. And so then we'll ale, ale. You can have the rest, Danielle. The beer? Okay. I'll put it in my glass. And then the heavy cream? Later. Oh, okay. Oh, my How much gosh. heavy cream was that? Just that, that was just kind of by feel, it looked like, by, with you. Just kind of... Yeah, you just exactly. Know just, just enough to coat, and you, you can kind of eyeball it, see where... You, you don't want to have too much broth. Well, maybe you do. Maybe I mean. we do, because <laughs> I like the broth. Yep. But uh, it makes it harder to serve. Yeah. So we just want to gently cover it, and then throw a lid on it, mm -hmm. and steam until they're open. Okay. Um, then at that point, we're going to add tomatoes, mm -hmm. fresh basil pesto, a little bit of lemon juice, our salt, and just a little bit of sugar. And what the sugar will do will mellow out the rest of the flavors. Yeah. You, you don't want enough sugar that it'll uh, taste sweet. Right. But you just want enough to kind of even out the, the balance of the dish. All right. All right. So tell me more about the deck. You got a great spot down there on the water. We were talking earlier, formerly known as the West Deck for us Rhode Islanders. Yeah. And, you know. Yes. What's that? But where is that place? <coughs> oh, it used to be the by the Almax near the you know Seven yeah, right. Eleven. Blah blah blah. Right. But uh, same deal, right? Eating outside, inside. Tell us about the restaurant. Inside is uh, open kitchen showcase, mm -hmm. upscale. Do you see, get to see you? Yes. Cooking every night oh except wow. for Tuesdays. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, but it's, it's, a day a, off. it's a lot of fun because um, you get to see me cooking whatever you're gonna have, and it's it, the interaction between the, the guests it's and myself. Fun. It's it's makes a lot of fun for me as well as the All guests. All right. Well, you have a, a finished product over there too. We do. Um, I, I would love to spoon a little bit out. Maybe Patrick can try Absolutely. some of that, especially the broth. And you also brought in some bread. Would you just grill that up with a little butter? Or? You can use whatever you like. You can actually use a nice thick cut French fry. Mm -hmm. It's a very traditional way of eating your muscles as well. Just okay. anything that you can absorb the bread with is going to be uh, where it's at. I was talking to Matt before we started cooking that I'm not a huge fan of the mussels, but whenever somebody orders a dish like this, I go crazy with the broth because it is so good. Oh, are, you, are you going to eat any mussels? Or are you nope, just gonna eat I'm not going to eat any mussels, <laughs> but just even that broth right really? there. Plus, this little, you want a mussel? Yeah. Oh, my God. I don't have a plate, though. Mm -hmm. Here. Um, what can I get you? Let me get you a plate. Just give me that. Here you go. Take your mussels. Okay. Can I have something to eat the muscles with? Oh my gosh, anything else I can do for you, Patrick? <laughs> well, how much time do we have? Spoon, fork, knife, anything? No, I don't need a spoon. This isn't cereal. Okay, okay take, take the spoon that. back. All right. Okay. Well, I am so Every glad day, that Matt. you... Every day, I've got to do it. I am so glad that you shared this recipe day. with us, especially since it's kind of your signature. You love right. to make it, and you put all your joy into it. So, oh, the broth is amazing. Great Thank job. You. Thank That's you very so much. so good. And we certainly hope you have a wonderful summer season at the deck. Thank we look forward to it. And don't forget, it's our, our um, deal of day today. Our uh, viewers can go online, click on foxprovidence.com. It's what, $50 worth of food for 25 bucks.